Abbey Wood Station, like many others, is a long way from being finished. Signs are taped over as this whole area waits and waits for Crossrail. At West End style, there's frustration and the delays are having an impact. We're all waiting for it because obviously we need people to come into the village to use our shops and to know that we're here. And all the delays, people are just not going to come and use the station if it's not open. So this is where, you know, it's creating a problem for everybody. Crossrail will end up billions over budget and could open years late. Today, reports highlighted a lack of transparency and questioned whether the Crossrail executive in charge of building it had the right skills. It also said warnings from Crossrail to the mayor, it says were watered down by the Transport Commissioner, Mike Brown. Warnings about the construction timetable were removed, as was another about completion dates being under pressure, and this warning about there not being enough time to complete the testing. The Assembly believe the Transport Commissioner should now consider his position. The Mayor has got to be able to have confidence in his Commissioner. But we've also uncovered other evidence around the independent reviewers' reports which showed a year out it wasn't going to open on time, being ignored, and also the Crossrail executives really not having a grip on the risks they were managing. TfL says it's incorrect to say the Commissioner kept information from the Mayor. City Hall blamed the previous management of Crossrail, now gone. I got full confidence in the TfL Commissioner, Mike Brown. He was with me at many of these meetings where the previous chair was telling us the central section, central section would open up in December 2018, and he's as frustrated and angry as I am that we were kept in the dark. The previous chair, though, always maintained he told the mayor about the delays. Away from City Hall, this is what Crossrail now looks like for most Londoners. This is Abbey Wood and there are two platforms here meant for the service and they're completely unused and the area has been shut off to the general public. We still don't have a start date for this project. Picking up the tab for all of this are London businesses. Along with passengers, they're now hoping for good news soon. Tom Edwards, BBC London News.